It's Your Money, sponsored by Strategic Wealth Designers. So the major stock indexes all finished the first quarter of 2022 at a loss. Our good friend Rob D'Alessio joining us today to talk about the state of the stock market. And Rob, can you explain the performance we saw in the first few months of the year and kind of make sense of all of this volatility with the market? Yeah, sure. Good to see you as always, Kyle. But um, the markets really love certainty, right? They love, you know, when things are kind of normal, going the way uh, that they should go, if you would. And if uh, we look around, it's anything but that, right? You still got a little bit of the pandemic hangover hanging on. Uh, we've got the military uh, engagements in the Ukraine. We've got, you know, interest rates going up. We've got inflation. I mean, just so many variables that are causing uncertainty in the market. And when that happens, people get fearful and they start to sell off. So we see a reaction like we did. Yeah, it makes sense. There is a whole lot of stuff going on in the world right now. So there's always this level of uncertainty with the stock market. That is something you have preached since day one. But given uh, where things are going, and can you kind of look ahead and predict what things will look like moving forward at all? Sure. I mean, as you know, nobody's got a crystal ball. So you have to make your best guess. We have midterm elections coming up in a few months. Uh, those are going to be massively important to how the market's going to react. Uh, the Ukraine-Russia situation, let's let that thing settle down. But we do know the Treasury has said they're going to raise interest rates two, maybe three more times this year. And inflation is still here for a while. So I have a feeling we're going to see volatility for at least a sustained period of time over the next two, maybe three years uh, before things would settle back down. Maybe we should invest in some meditation classes there, Rob. Last question. In times when the market is so volatile, how should investors react? Can you tell people to stop checking those 401ks right now? Because I think that causes a lot of unnecessary stress. Yeah, you're exactly right. You don't need to check it every day. Some days will be good news. Some days will be bad news. You know, I always say like anxiety is being scared about things that may or may not happen. So you can't control it. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, if you're younger, when the market corrects, you're actually buying on sales, so it may not feel like it, but that's a blessing for you. Now, when you're older, you're subject to something called sequence of returns risk, which means that you want to make sure you meet with someone and get your, your portfolio properly structured so that if things go bad shortly within your retirement, that you'll be able to sustain that long term. Rob, always a pleasure talking to you, my friend. Have a good rest of your week. To learn more about this and other business-related news, just go to local12.com community.